Hey friends, it's Alice Murray. Welcome to my channel, Mermaid Designs. And it, this is day 33 of 365 day challenge that I have challenged myself to show you 365 things I have sewn myself. Well, we made it to day 33. Let's see how we do. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share this video. Please like this video. I appreciate it very much. And today I'm going to show you something that's a little bit goofy. My stuff is often goofy. Have you noticed? Today, uh, I believe McCall's 7432 was the basis for this. And uh, this is a pattern, a very great pattern for beginners. It's a pattern I had, I got right from the beginning. And uh, I sewed this top when I didn't know about that uh, patterns are made for either wovens or knits. So they're even made, either made to be stretchy or not stretchy. And they take that into account in the, in the sizing. And, um, but I just, I wanted something to, um, help me. Uh, let me show this to you and then we'll, then we'll talk. So it's a teal blue, double layered front and back with a V hem. So the funny thing about this pattern or about this garment is that I saw it online. It was for sale. Um, a store was selling garments that looked like this, that had uh, a V hem and uh, that it was a double layered V hem. And I thought it looked beautiful. And I thought, oh, I would like to have that. How would I try making it? So I had this remnant of material. Uh, I made my uh, daughter-in-law a uh, 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 like a dressing gown with this. I think it's very beautiful material. Uh, once again, out of the bargain area of uh, fabric land, it's uh, a crepe, very beautiful black with these teal flowers on it. And uh, so I had this remnant, so I thought I would give it a whirl. So I, I just used this pattern to uh, kind of get the top and the sleeves sorted out. But because the pattern is for uh, stretch knits, and this is a woven, like the um, neckline, like, yeah, this doesn't really work at all. It kind of is all pokey uppy and, but this was early in my journey. So I gave it a whirl and, uh, just kind of hand drafted these layers with the with the points on them, and uh, if you look close, they don't they don't match up perfectly. And it was very difficult. I what I should have done, what I know now, is I should not have joined them together at the sides. I should have had them each completely separate from each other. But uh, and, you know, it kind of gives you the effect of what I was. Uh, going for so it was you know it was fun i've worn it a few times um no one has ever come up to me and said oh your neckline is so bunchy uh so you know people are gracious people don't really notice so um if you're learning learn experiment try uh see something you like and and try to make it uh, you know, do some easy things so you build your confidence, but uh, don't shy away from trying. And um, that's that's what I'm grateful for today. I am grateful that um, every garment I make, I learn something. And, uh, you know, it just kind of takes me to the next, next stage and step and, uh, you know, makes me want to try more. It's, uh, it's funny. Like in my head, oh, this was perfect. And in reality, eh, it's not perfect, but it's okay. 
it's okay. Um, you know, I, and that, that's the beauty of, of using fabric that, uh, you know, is $4 a meter is that, um, like you don't have to feel bad if it doesn't turn out, uh, absolutely perfect. So yeah, that's what I'm grateful for today. I'm grateful for learning. So I'd love to hear what you're grateful for. Is there anything that uh, you've been on a learning curve with and, and that you've appreciated that journey? I'd love to hear it. Uh, just tell me in the comments below. And I hope that you are sewing because sewing is so much fun. Till next time.